course of building a business, securing legal documents is one of the fundamental steps one has to undergo. That is why on our previous episode, we walked you through every step on getting your business seal of legitimacy, and that's the business permit. This week, we go back to the City Hall of Muntinlupa to tackle two other important documents which, when secured, will surely be beneficial not just to the business, but more importantly to its consumers. The building or the construction permit and the occupancy permit. Building permit is a uh, permit given by our office, allowing a certain establishment to construct, renovate, or make some improvements on their properties. Basically, the, we need the construction plans, duly accomplished building permit applications, signed and sealed by the licensed professionals, bill of materials, specifications. For example, yung ating mga glass, it should be tempered. Hindi pa pwede yung ordinary glass kasi to avoid naman kung sa accidents, hindi tayo nakakadisgrasya ng mga tao. Uh, Siyempre, yung proof of ownership, contract of lease or uh, titles. Kailangan din natin ng construction and health safety program coming from uh, the DOLE. It is uh, a program uh, to make sure that the construction workers during the construction activities ay magpa-follow ng tamang safety program kasi uh, yan ang isa sa mga iniingatan natin ngayon during construction. Siyempre, kailangan din namin yung fire safety uh, inspection certificate. It is required that all business permits before being issued by the BPLO should secure first the fire safety inspection certificate. Okay, the basic requirements for business establishments is for them to apply to us. Apply to us and then for us to inspect the establishments. Once we inspect these establishments, then we would have to evaluate if they are compliant to the fire code, then we'll be issuing the fire safety inspection certificates. When a business owner submits all the necessary documents, then the real work for the building officials begin. Kapag kompleto na yung requirements, it takes uh, two to three days to process the building permit application. The first day is the evaluation ng uh, submitted plans and the assessment. The second day is the inspection. And the third day is the releasing after the payment was made. Ang uh, inspection was done para lang makita yung actual condition ng site. Doon din natin na monitor kung they have already started the construction kasi there are some penalties kapag ka nagsimula yung construction prior to issuance of building permits. Having the building permit at hand, the business owner will now proceed with the construction of the store. But it doesn't end there because after the actual construction, there's one more document that needs to be secured before the store can officially open its doors to the customers. Ang occupancy permit naman is uh, granted no? after na magkanda kami ng inspection. Uh, it will certify na yung uh, ginawang construction is fit for occupancy. Only we can conduct random inspections during construction. Pero the final inspection is also required prior to the issuance ng occupancy permit. So the main concern is kung bakit namin binibigyan ng occupancy permit is the safety ng user. Our office makes it sure na yung, yung establishment is fit for occupancy. Hindi siya health hazard, hindi siya fire hazard. O yun, ang, yun ang purpose ng occupancy permit. Securing permits primarily signifies adherence to the law and ordinances of the city. But this also brings us to the second yet equally important purpose, and that's to have a stable yet responsible business exhibiting equal concern to its operations and to its customers. 